Alright, I'm going to be taking a look at the uh, slides from the TFCon Toronto 2015 third party uh, product preview uh, panel. Yeah, it's a lot of P's. And uh, what I did was instead of going through all the slides that uh, bored people to tears showing us stuff we've already seen, I just narrowed it down to this is the new stuff. The stuff that's still coming out and we haven't seen before and you might actually be interested in it. First up is Alien Attack has their add-on for a movie uh, wrecker figure, which honestly no self-respecting Transformers collectors would even care about. So let's move on. Uh, Non-Nef Productions has the uh, teaser for an upcoming figure that's a double combiner. I'm not sure what that means. Is it turning the two figures? Or is it like a double headmaster or what? But it's called the Break Bad RV, obviously inspired by the RV from the TV series Breaking Bad. Uh, this obviously has some repaint and remold potential. Uh, you could use the EM50 from Stripes. You could be the Eagle One from Spaceballs. It could be um, Grandpa's trailer from Ben 10. So there's lots of potential there, depending on how it transforms. Also, Non-F showed off Boxy and Minion. Uh, stealth figure and his minion. Uh, yeah, I saw a couple of customs and stuff on TFW 2005 from Nanef, where he had this basically transforming into Soundwave. I'm not sure if that's where he's going to go with the final version of it or he's going to do something different, but it's definitely neat. Uh, hey, I wouldn't mind having it be a headmaster that turned into different little Time Lords. You know, you could pick from all the different ones, so that would be kind of a cute little add-on. I wonder if uh, Minion there turns into a Sonic Screwdriver type weapon. Just a thought. Uh, Unrustable Bastard showed off some uh, renders of their upcoming figures. These are going to be a crowdfunding uh, setup that they're going to do to see if we can get people interested in this. They're pretty much original characters, although some people say it reminds them of animated oil slick. The uh, figures, the smaller figures basically are just robots that turn into chess pieces for the larger uh, motorcycles that they ride. You see it goes right inside there. So we'll be keeping an eye on that and see what they're doing in the future. Uh, KFC showed off the uh, test shots of their Opticlones team. Uh, according to what I heard, these will have working lights and sound in them, so that's kind of interesting. Play With This 2 showed off the uh, uh, prototype of their Boneyard figure, which is inspired by Pretender Grimlock. It's going to come with lots of optional hands and uh, alternate heads and a big set of weapons. And this will be a crowdfunding so as well, probably this fall from what we've heard. And I hope it does real well. They're going to be doing offering this figure, colored like Grimlock, and then they'll have several other recolors of it. And they're also doing another figure that we'll be seeing soon called uh, Jet Strike, who is inspired by Pretender Starscream. And he'll have repaints, which you can only guess what Starscream repaints will look like. Yes, that's right. One will be black and purple, one will be blue and white. Might have something that's in an orange variety. Who knows? Uh, Bad Cube had announced that they're going to be having limited clear versions of their uh, Not Insecticons mixed in with these. You'll have uh, 1 in 200 chance. Yes, okay, I'm going to call that chance. You really should spell check these things. Of getting one of the uh, clear versions mixed in. Uh, also, they're going to be doing their Sun Surge Warrior, which is their version of a Masterpiece Sunstreaker. Cloud9 is going to be doing a Quake Blast figure, who is not only inspired by uh, Shockwave, but by the Fans Toys Quake uh, Blast figure. Or is it uh, called... Uh, this is called Quake Blast. The other one must Quake Wave. Anyway, basically, it's the same transformation, more or less, but with completely different surface detail and uh you know that's cool if you want to if you like this figure better i mean they're both basically copies of the hasbro toy which were copied from another line uh back in 1984 and i think hasbro lost all rights to the care to the toy originally anyway so it's up to anyone right now and uh here you can see it in alternate mode and uh also 
DX9 is going to be offering their Hulky figure, which is a fully transforming Legend-style G1 uh, Devastator. And from the looks of things, it's actually going to have all the combiner bits mixed in with the robots, which is cool. Um, yep, and they're also going to be coming out with a figure called Mightron, which is a 4-inch tall version of a very G1 gun accurate, animation accurate Megatron figure. So if you want a 4-inch uh, tall Megatron, this is kind of really cool. There's a nice little spot on the front there that some repro labels could fix up and you're all set. They also said that they'll be doing a Shattered Glass repaint of their carry figure called Terror. Uh, I like to see Shattered Glass repaints. Uh, I don't particularly like Masterpiece, so I'll be skipping this one. But hopefully that means we'll be seeing some Shattered Glass repaints of some of their other figures. I'd love to see uh, say Shattered Glass Ironhide or the some of the other figures that they've released already. They've also teased a Blitzwing. Now there's a guy who needs a good Shattered Glass repaint. And uh, heck, I'd also be interested in seeing him as Overcharge, the uh, Diaclone colors. Transform and Rollout showed off the prototype of their not Masterpiece Jazz figure. Perfect Effect showed off a set of combiner accessories to go with the Combiner Wars Voyager Optimus Prime. It includes hands, feet, and it says breastplate, but it's actually a crotch guard. I guess they don't want to say crotch. Anyway, crotch! Yeah, it's uh, Optimus Prime, and you can give him a new crotch. Hooray! And Perfect Effect is also showing off their Leonidas figure, who is their version of uh, Leo Convoy. Kind of a Zoids-inspired alt mode, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing that real soon. Voodoo Robots showed off their versions of Masterpiece Ratchet and Ironhide. And as you can see, they're very good animation accuracy there. And there's the alt mode. You can see about how they size up with MP10 and the Masterpiece Prowl. Generation Toy showed off some of the colored uh, test shots of their Gravity Builder figure right there. That's uh, Scrapper is one of them, and it looks like the other one's Mixmaster. Yep, so there's Scrapper and Mixmaster in their alt modes. TFC Toys showed off a silly little uh, super deformed version of Hercules called Hercules, which it just turns from giant robot with a big head to four or you know, excuse me, six little robots or six little vehicles. There's no robot mode from the looks of things. I noticed that it actually uses Power Core combiner uh, combiner port bits though, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, so looking back at this. I wonder if you could use these guys as Power Core Combiner limbs and just get rid of the super deformed dude in the middle. TFC Toys showed off their uh, color test shot of Iron Will, which is their masterpiece Iron Hide. You can see him, he's pretty bulked up and detailed. He'll come with some weapons. Also, they have a masterpiece uh, version of Ratchet. He's also looking pretty bulky and strong there, too, with some uh, weapons and accessories. TSC Toys also showed off their upcoming figures inspired by the Breast Force Combiner, which we're finally getting some combiners from after the first uh, couple years of Transformers and going into some of the later years, which I think a lot of people are excited about. This is uh, Thantanos, which is their version of uh, Kill Bison, and then we also have its uh, little Breast Force partner. And then we have a guy called Hades, who is inspired by Hellbat. Oh, excuse me, this is, uh, his name is Minos, and he's inspired by Hellbat. Hades is the term they're using for the combined form, which would normally be Leo Kaiser. And you can see the little breast partner there. Turns from a chest plate to a gun to a little robot bat. Uh, we have from Mastermind Creation showed off their Carnifex uh, prototype which is their version of uh, IDW Overlord. I haven't heard yet if this guy's going to actually have the uh, Power Master or God Master companions on him. I think he really does need it, or at least as an option, because even though this is very IDW-inspired, why go that far and not finish the figure? I don't know. Or you can see him in base mode, which is kind of so-so. And you can see his jet mode uh, does size up with the uh, Masterpiece Star Saber figure. And so does the robot mode. So that's pretty cool. Mastermind Creations also showed off their Alpha figure, who is a robot that turns into Jet based on the character of Wing from the uh, Drift Limited series from IDW. And they're also doing Drift from the Drift Limited series from IDW. As a guy named Beta, this is a Cybertronian Drift. I'm not sure about the size class on it. I'm thinking 
decent sized deluxe is all that really needs to be. But maybe it'll be Voyager, we'll see. Uh, Fans Project showed off their uh, Warbot series WB07 and WB08. Uh, WB07 is based on Die Atlas, whereas WB08 is Die Battles. As you can see, they both turn into three smaller robots, and you can see on the artwork for the WB007, the smaller vehicles combine into one big vehicle. So that's kind of cool. And it comes with three Solaron pilots as well. Fans Project is also making a new parallax armor for uh, the classic Voyager Optimus Prime mold. The cool thing about this armor is that I'm told that it actually doesn't need to be removed to transform. It'll actually turn from a big armored semi-truck into a big armored robot without having to take the armor off. And there, of course, will be a uh, Ultra Magnus version as well. Function X line from uh, Fans Project will include a uh, highbrow-inspired figure. Hopefully we'll find more details on that soon. And Fans Project is also adding to their Lost Exile Realm series a group of uh, dinosaur transformers based on the Dino Force figures from Japanese Victory Line. As you can see the shells themselves. I'm told these are going to be large, uh, non-transforming shells that open up and you can fit the smaller robots inside of them. They'll probably be selling them separately, the shells, for about $20 to $40 each. And they also double as piggy banks. They will have a little slot in the back you can put coins in. And then Saru Ryo is the uh, version of Dino King. And I am told that there will be both a Dino King and a Monstructor version of this toy. The uh, Dino King will be a limited release, and then the uh, Monstructor version will be re regular retail versions of the toy. Fans Project is also continuing their Lost Exile Realm Dinobots with a version of Grimlock, and they will be making the throne. It will probably be sold separately. They also have an extra female Dinobot coming out. There's two different variations of it shown here. One is a Pachycephalosaurus, and the other one's a Velociraptor. So I'm not sure which version is final, or if you get both, or if there are two figures, maybe there are two characters in the box, who knows. And of course, we'll be having their own version of, of uh, Snarl. That'll be coming out as LER06. Fans Project also showed off some art teases of figures named Speed, BG Nation, ISO, and Doug. These guys seem to be inspired by the Accelerator figures from late G1, early G2. And I'm not sure if these guys have what kind of uh, gimmick they might have. The original Accelerators had gu guns that were their engines, so they might be Target Masters. Or they might do something original with them, like uh, have them be a combiner. I think one thing I wouldn't mind seeing from them is if they actually combined, but since there's only four of them, they combined them in the manner that Road Caesar combines. And then, of course, you have a possible Road Caesar uh, remold of them in the future. Maki Toys showed off silhouettes of some upcoming Masterpiece figures. Contact Shot is based on Point Blank. Uh, Despotron based on Megatron. Howling Meteor, which the name got cut off there, is their version of, I'm guessing, Starscream, but hey, potential for repaints. Uh, Reticle is based on Crosshairs. Terror Bird and Nightbird are obviously based on uh, Darkwing and Dreadwind, and obviously they are, maybe they combined form would be Terror Bird or... Yeah, Terror Bird would make the most sense, or Night Terror. Terror, Night Terror, yeah, that'd work. So maybe we'll combine form will be Night Terror. Um, Mastermind Creations, excuse me, Make Maki Toys will also be doing their version of a uh, tailgate figure, which will come with an add-on kit that can go on the deluxe Cyclonus mold, making it more IDW accurate. Planet X showed off their version of... Uh, Follow Cybertron Dinobot Slug, you know, and he looks like a uh, terror dog from the Ghostbusters, but what the heck. And you can see the alternate mode. They'll also be doing a version of the Grimlock figure to replace the Hasbro one, the hollow piece of garbage that it is, with one that's a bit more solid. They also will be doing a recolor of their Omega Supreme inspired figure, this one as a Omega Guardian. And a quick little teaser we got, they are continuing to develop a Paddles figure. 
So I hope you enjoyed my quick little uh, review of all the news that was actually news at the TFCon third party panel. Comment below and tell me which figures were your favorite, which were the ones that you could skip, and which things you think were left out of the panel that uh, really should have been there. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, this weekend. Bye.